Hey everyone, Justin here from High Level How To, and today we're gonna to look at how to create and use snapshots inside of Go High Level. Let's jump right in. Okay, so the very first thing that we need to do before you create a snapshot is you need to make sure that you create a sub account that you're gonna to use to generate your snapshot based on. Okay, the way a snapshot works is it will take an existing sub account and it's gonna duplicate that into what's called a snapshot. And the cool thing is once you have that snapshot, you can apply all of those features, so the websites, the automations, the forms, everything about that, that sub account into either future sub accounts or existing sub accounts. So in this example, I'm gonna pretend like I'm using automation geeks here as the sub account that I wanna to use to generate this the snapshot. So I've got that completely built out. It's, I've got it exactly how I want it. Okay, the next step is you need to click on the settings of your agency dashboard and then click on sub account. So once you're there, so settings and then snapshot here in, in, the, in the left side of the settings, it's gonna show you all of the existing snapshots that you already have. If you don't have any, this list is gonna be empty. Okay, so to cre create it, it's very simple. Click on the green create new snapshot button. You wanna give it a name. So let's say I say snapshot one, and then I'm gonna select the sub account that I wanna use as my sub account, as my snapshot instance. So I click automation geeks and then click save. And once you click save, you're gonna see that the snapshot that you just created has show, is gonna show up in your list here. So snapshot one based on automation geeks, which is right there. Okay, so now that you've done that, there's a few different ways on how to deploy and actually use the snapshot. The first one I'm gonna show you is for a new client that you are setting up manually. Okay, so in order to do this, Back inside of your agency dashboard, click on account snapshots in the left sidebar. And that's gonna bring up all of the snapshots you have access to. It's gonna default you to the vertical snapshots, which are the ones that High Level has created that you can use when creating a new account. If you go over one tab to own snapshots, this is where you're gonna see all of the snapshots you've created, okay? So snapshot one, which is one we just created, is right here. If I wanna use this to set up, when setting up a new client, I simply click the green select and create new account. And then I go through the process of adding a new client and it was, it's going to set that client up using this snapshot, which is really cool. Okay, so that's one way to do it. Another way to use snapshots is to add it to an existing sub account or an existing client. So the way you do that is you click on your sub accounts tab here from your agency dashboard, find the client or the sub account that you wanna apply the snapshot to. So I'll use Badger Coaching Services as my example. Click that as if you're going into the sub account management section, don't actually go into their sub account workspace. And in the top right, you're gonna see an actions button with a drop down. Click that and you click load snapshot. Whenever you load the snapshot, very first thing you need to tell it is, hey, which one do you actually want to use? So if I click on own snapshot one, that's the one I'm going to use. And from here, I'm not going to go through this entire process, but you can effectively tell it exactly what you want it to include. So you'll see that there are four calendars in the snapshot. There are 21 custom fields. There's one email template. And by default, it's going to select all of them as the assets that you want to merge into the sub account. If you want, you can skip the entire category or you can open it up and actually deselect specific ones that you want to. Okay, so that's pretty cool. It gives you a little bit more customization as you're applying it. So once you go through that process, click proceed, and then you'll effectively add this snapshot into that sub account, which is really cool. And the final way that you can use snapshots is using the SaaS configurator so that when you get a new SaaS client, it automatically creates their account using the snapshot that you create, okay? And the way you do that is click on SaaS configurator from your agency dashboard. And inside of here, you've got the three different plans that you set up for SaaS. Once you've set those up, giving them prices and adding in which features you want to include, Go down to the bottom and at the bottom of each one, you can attach a snapshot to those different plans. Now you can attach the same snapshot to all three if you've got kind of one master snapshot you wanna use, or if you wanna include a few extra features, a few extra you know, workflows or anything like that to help differentiate your plans, you can attach different ones to each one of here. So you would just click on select snapshot, collect the one that you wanna use, and it's going to add it right here as the snapshot that whenever the, someone signs up, to my standard plan, it's gonna build their account using Snapshot One as the snapshot. So that's how to create and to deploy snapshots. Now, a lot of people ask, hey, what's included in a snapshot? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through a quick list just so you kind of have a general idea of what's included inside of your snapshot. So the things that get copied over to a new sub account whenever you use a snapshot include custom fields, custom values, and this is only gonna bring over the key, not the actual value itself triggers and the triggers whenever you bring them over they're going to start in draft mode trigger links surveys forms 
SMS templates, email templates, and there are three different kinds of email templates. All three of them get brought over. Then in reputation management, you have the SMS, the email, and the custom communication. Again, that's all under the reputation management stuff. So anything you set up there, those are going to get brought over. Campaigns are going to get brought over and they will start as if they are published. But inside of the campaigns, if you're using the user component, that's not going to get copied over because the snapshot's not going to assume that a user from the sub account where you created the snapshot is also going to be over on the new sub account where you have merged or added in the snapshot. Okay. Which makes sense. All the pipelines, all the calendars, and this is going to include all the settings for the calendars, all tags, folders, funnels, and websites. Now it's not going to bring over any products in the funnels and any sort of tracking that you set up for those specific funnels. So if you're merging in like Google ads or Facebook or anything like that, any pixels, it's not going to bring those over because those are specific to the previous sub account, your membership products and offers get brought over your workflows get brought over. But again, this isn't going to include any of the specific tracking or any specific data that is unique to or custom to the previous sub account. Your teams get brought over, but they're not active by default. So you have to go in and manually activate those. So those are the things that get copied over. You can take a screenshot of this list if it's helpful. The things that do not get copied over is gonna be the stuff that kind of makes sense. So any contacts, there's not gonna get copied over, conversations, tracking codes, any the integrations that you've set up, any of the users from the previous sub account, the reporting data, reputation, data within custom values. So if you create a custom value, it's not gonna copy over, you know, something that's you know, a specific company name, for example, of the old sub account, that's not really helpful in the new sub account because it's a different company name, but the ability to add a custom company name into a custom value is going to be there. Any customization to the chat widget, any integrated domains, company settings and existing tasks or manual actions. So none of those are going to get copied over again. You can screenshot this. So again, that is snapshots and they're really powerful, really useful, especially if you are setting up new clients and wanting to get a head start, or if you're wanting to onboard new clients, you can you know, this is a big value add to them. You can set up a lot of stuff already on their behalf. It's going to help you scale your business, which is really cool. Now, if you don't already have a go high level account, you can go to ghltrial.com and that's going to give you a 14 day free trial to check it out, start playing around. I recommend doing that for sure. But I hope you found this helpful. If you've got any other questions about snapshots or anything else, you can leave a comment in the description below. If you found this video helpful, we would love it if you would like and subscribe and turn on the bell notifications because we are always coming out with new content to help you master using high level, whether you're an agency or even just a business using it for your business. But I hope you enjoyed it until next time.